guys how is everyone doing today um just to give you guys uh, I got nipped my finger um I I was doing a sketchbook and I can't stand up really well right now and so I was doing everything using a right next to me here sitting doing everything sitting and I was using this to cut my papers and I knocked my finger you know if I been able to stand up very well and use my guillotine it would have been so much easier but anyway you live and learn and get love but this is a off that tangent okay so I explain how I got this little baby here um, this is a sketchbook that literally caused blood tears and pain because <laughs> I actually knit my finger like I said doing this sketchbook and it's a the what the, the thing about it, I was experimenting with this kind of presentation. Yeah, I have a line through here. Making this was interesting, very very interesting. Do everything sitting down. Open up. It's made from cardstock. I use materials that I have, and you know equipments that I have bought for book binding but I haven't really used um, the it's actually a tread it's not tread it's actually string that I use to, 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 to sew it with and it's string that has been because this string is very feathering you know it, it sheds a lot so to make it be less shedding I had to get some laminated glue this was a process guys this laminated glue from sergeant art and i coat the surface of the the string with it so it's not as shredded as possible and that's how i was able to put it into a big needle i forgot the type of needle i used but it wasn't a normal needle either Oops. here it is see and not to tight but i actually glued it together so i could have a and this is the string that I use. Yeah. This is how I made that. So I laminated the surface of this so it's not as shedding as it used to be. Left it to dry, then come back, uh, thread the needle, and then sew it or bind this book together. And then to kind of finish it off, I kind of glue this rapid piece here. And the interesting part about it is because I'm not as mobile as I used to be or as I should be, I had to do all this sitting down. And that's why I nicked my finger because I couldn't use the guillotine to cut the papers or the, the um, cardboard. This is actual cardboard with poster board glued between it. Because a friend of mine had attempted this book before, this type of binding before, and she said that one of the advice she gave me is that it will wear away over time the covers and the paper will wear away over time because of the fact that the you know it so I wanted to go with a bigger tread in so I use string instead of tread and to kind of slow down on the viscosity and I wanted to go with thicker um, covering so that again to slow down the viscosity and the wear and tear and I use, of course, I use decorative duct tape, but I use these one, which is of normal consistency, and this one that's just a bit thicker, and so I was able to get it done that way. Hopefully, it, it, it gives me some longevity. And, uh, yeah, a nice little sketchbook. You guys can see a nice little thick sketchbook, and I had to make it thicker than I normally would other sketchbooks that I made just because of this exposed spine here it has 56 sheets in it and it's about four and a half by wait it's four and a quarter by five and a half or I think it's 11 by 17 um, 11 by 17 centimeters 11 by 17 or 11 by let me see the centimeters I yeah, it's about 10 and a half centimeters by 14 and a half centimeters. So it's a pretty good, you know, 
nice and good size so that's really nice I'm gonna share with you um, I had to do a lot of activities sitting because my ankle is not really good so I haven't been doing a lot of art um, I have been doing I want to go get into a sketchbook that I have here Just let me roll this out of the way so I can it's not it should be here where is it oh my gosh let me cut this off and find the sketchbook so I want to get into this sketchbook here and basically this sketchbook is made from drawing paper uh, I believe it's the pecan drawing paper and I want to get to just start coloring these illustrations and I want to only use color pencils in this sketchbook I am so sorry this is from an accident that happened so yeah so I decided to swatch these out so that when I do the review of this, I'll use it on this paper here. Because I love using this drawing paper, to be honest, to do color pencil work. It has a good tooth to it, you know, and uh, I feel good with it, you know. So it does present good color and paper works. I know I said color paper. I was like, where the heck did I get that word from? But I actually meant color pencils. Colored pencils, it does produce good color pencil works and I really enjoy using it on this paper um, and going into that uh, this lady here now I've had this for where are we now I've had this for some time you know and um, I've always looked at it and this was actually my Christmas present to myself um, it's a Derwent light fast colored pencil 36 line 36 and I'm introducing this to you so that when I go into the art session I don't have to do this part and that's why I'm doing it here to kind of spare me from doing it in the future but yeah this is a Derwin uh, light fast and these are supposed to be 100% oil based light fast pencils now originally when Derwin came out with this color pencil line it had 36 colors in the line However, um, as the line became more popular and as Derwin, they expand the line to now it has 72 in the set. Correction made, guys. It is not 72. Derwin Light Fast Pencils now have 100 pencils within its Light Fast line. It's supposed to be able to hold its point beautifully. It's also supposed to have for easy blending, quick and opaque color applications. And it most of it comes in sets of 100 with 100 being its maximum um, color range it also comes instead of 12 24 36 which I have here and 72 okay uh, these are some beautiful pencils they do boast 100% light fastness for all pencils within this set here at least let's flip this over as you can see I already did the swatches for these let me put on the light. Okay, so let me put on the light for you guys to see. It comes with this little booklet here. Ah, oh, the sheen, the sheen. Um, and it has a lot of information about the Derwent Pencil Company. Um, the sheen. Uh, how to layer. It talks a lot about the pencils and the methodology that went into it. It also has here, which is very useful information. As you can see, the color, the pigment that is made of. You know, it's CI code, it's ASTM code. I think they use both the ASTM standard and the blue wool to do light fast testing on these. So it's highly light fast and the color name. And it indicated that it comes with a 12, 24, and 36 set. But this is the old version. Like I said, Durin have expanded the line to now it has a hundred colors in this. Okay, now let's look at the swatches here. The one thing that I kind of appreciate about the swatches is that the pencil themselves are beautiful. You know, they have a good weight to them. It's very light and um, the color application is very soft and creamy. It almost reminds me of the Karen, da yeah, the, the Karen Dosh Luminance. These pencils so remind me of those, the Karen Dosh Luminance. So I was like, oh, it's, 
but then when I looked at the the heading it says they're supposed to be oil based and I'm like okay so maybe they put more oil in the wax formula to make it oil based but at the same time it's a very creamy kind of formula they have in the wax so they're very beautiful the one thing that concerns me about this pencil line is the um, colors are very muted um, even though guys I love looking at a muted set what I don't appreciate is it doesn't really match my kind of artistic style i'm more into bright my artistic style even though me personally love looking at a muted set my artistic style more lends itself to a brighter kind of um art so i'm kind of concerned how i'm gonna blend what i love do what i love looking at to how i do art and that's my concern right now when looking at this set because i only really have about four or yeah about four or five bright colors this is a bright color these two are pretty bright and the yellow here the sun yellow is pretty bright so yeah i'm trying to figure out how i'm trying to the one thing i'm actually amazed right now is that this cloud gray is kind of shimmery i mean i'm getting a silvery vibe off it which is kind of amazing <laughs> Not sure if I'm sure if, if if you're seeing what I'm seeing in the cloud. This one here, this one to the bottom here, kind of shimmers a little bit, you know, like kind of getting some silver vibes off that, which is kind of nice. I'm hoping I'm able to capture that. But all in all, it's a it's a beautiful set of um, palettes. It's a beautiful palettes. It's a wonderful collection. It will challenge me unless I decide to add some bright colors to it. And this is how it swatch out on black. Um, on black, if you would be pressed to think that, you know, the first four colors here and the first three colors in this line are the same colors because they kind of swatch out the same. And this is with doing maximum pressure on black, but they're not. Um, there's just slight hues and slight tint differences in it, even though they're all, they all look this very opaque color. So it is beautiful. I mean, I, I can't see myself working with this on um, tone paper because as you can see, it does swatch out beautiful. In this respect, it actually reminds me of the poly, oh, the polychromos, the Prismacolor because I love to use Prismacolor Premier on brighter, on tone paper, sorry. And so because it's so opaque and so creamy, I, I enjoy using it on tone paper. So it kind of reminds me of that. And yeah, so now that I have, and again, that, that, that silver to the end, that silver, it's not silver. It's actually cloud gray. It just has a silvery vibe to it. I, am, I, I don't know what it is, but yeah, guys, um, this is it. Okay, guys, so I am going to end this vlog here. Um, I have, this is the... The introduction review of the Derwent Light Fast set. So the next time you see me is where I'll actually be doing an actual artwork with it, and maybe I'll be doing it with my pre already pre drawn up pre lined up illustration that I have in that bookmark colored pencils. And yeah, I think I want to practice with it first before I do that art session to kind of get the feel. Cause like I said, it's not a palette I'm used to working with i'm not used to working with this type of palette here this type of color combination so i might have to do some practice sessions first before i can bring this um complete this review with you thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and as always stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one bye